A new iPhone 8 dummy video reveals everything you'd like to know about these leaked cat images. We get more information on the hurdles that Samsung is facing with Bixby, and Apple makes a move to reportedly do AR on its own. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, I admit defeat, I was not supposed to drink yesterday, but that kind of didn't work. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today starts with a new development says Apple has apparently acquired an eye tracking company, eye tracking sensing company. Sensomotoric Instruments is the name of the German firm that Apple has just acquired for an undisclosed amount of money. And uh, for those of you wondering exactly why Apple want to do this, remember Apple made a big deal about AR at WWDC. This is clearly the feature that the company wants to push, and it did it in a big way with the iPhone. So yeah, it seems that this is the next frontier, Apple Glass. Now let's move the spotlight over to Vivo, which is one of the companies that's co-owned by one of the parent companies of Oppo that somehow also has a stake in OnePlus. Vivo is mostly famous in China, but we've got this teaser of the X9S that shows us an embedded fingerprint scanner on the display. This should be announced over the next couple of days, so sorry Samsung and Apple, another company figured it out first. And speaking of fingerprint scanners, let's talk about Qualcomm. The company has just teased a couple of things that are interesting in China, starting with the Snapdragon 450 for mid-ranger to low-end smartphones, the Snapdragon Wear 1200, but even more interesting is display fingerprint scanners. Yes, Qualcomm is also wanting to compete here. The only problem is that OEMs will not be able to see the technology until the fall of this year. So we could start a 2018 full of this technology and we cannot wait. Now, for those of you wondering exactly when Bixby is going to extend the beta for other countries and other languages, apparently that is not going to happen anytime soon. We've got some trusted sources that claim that Samsung doesn't even have linguists for any other language right now. They're pretty much just working with a limited amount of resources to extend Bixby to other languages, and uh, it's not even actually working on more. Apparently, for now. We'll keep you posted as soon as that extends and which are the probable languages that it'll expand to whenever it actually works as it's supposed to. And finally, the very interesting news today have to do with another video, a more extensive video that shows us the iPhone 8, a full dummy. It's obviously not working, but it's filmed from every angle. It looks gorgeous. I mean, if you look at the craftsmanship of this dummy, you could say that this is the final deal. I still hate the camera hump. I love that pebble design on the borders and everything. I love that display, definitely. But, uh, you know, it's rather interesting. The more they flip the camera around that thing, the glass-on-glass -glass finish. It looks beautiful, but the question today for you is, do you really think that glass is the way to go for the future of smartphones? Like, really, should every smartphone in the future go glass? Because in my case, I, I hate that worry that I'll end up breaking that thing, and it's happened to me a few times lately. Leave us a comment down below, we'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.